Joining us now is Nick Birnbach. He is the spokesperson for UN Peacekeeping. Thank you for joining us here at Pleasure. TRT World. First of all, it's the 70th anniversary of UN Peacekeeping. What makes this day remarkable? So the International Day of UN Peacekeepers is a chance for us to reflect on the sacrifices of the peacekeepers who have lost their lives serving over the last 70 years in UN peace operations. It's also a chance for us to think back on the many successes peacekeeping has had and the times where we haven't done the job and make sure that we're prepared for the future. Um, the sacrifices of the peacekeepers who died while serving under the, the blue flag have made people's lives better all over the world. So it's important that on this day that we remember that. Uh, UN peacekeepers have had indeed successes and failures. Let's talk about where you've been most successful first. Well, I mean, I think we've had successes all over the world, as you say. Um, this past year, um, we ended our operations in West Africa. We've had missions in Sierra Leone, in the Ivory Coast, and in Liberia. We closed the last of our three missions in Liberia. And I think if you look at where West Africa was when the peacekeepers deployed over a decade ago, um, it was um, truly in dire straits. And, and now you see a sub-region that is at peace with itself and its neighbors, um, and moving forward economically on the path to development. And UN peacekeepers played an important role in that. In terms of notable uh, and unfortunate failures, how do you keep an incident from happening like the one that happened years ago in Bosnia where you had over 7,000 civilians unarmed turned over to the Serbs and they were massacred? How do you stop that? Well, um, you know, protecting civilians now is a core function of United Nations peacekeeping operations, whether it's in Mali or the Central African Republic or the South Sudan or the Democratic Republic of Congo. UN peacekeepers have different mandates than they did back in, in those eras, and they have different equipment. What we've done over the last year is launched a review to try to make sure that we are truly fit for purpose, that we ourselves are doing everything we can to keep these civilians safe, that we're refining our procedures, we're refining how we do our job, and we're working with our partners in the troop and police contributing countries to try to make sure that they give us the finest troops possible, the finest police possible, who are trained and equipped and come with the right mindset to take on today's very challenging tasks. Nick Birnbach, the spokesman for UN Peacekeeping, thank you for joining us here on TOT World. My pleasure.